Yes, you recognize the van too. It's Nina. <laughs> um, Nina's been stripped, look. It's all stripped out and it's to do some welding. Um, have a look. Look at these solid bars in here. Look at it, it's like steel girders in this thing. It's so solid. Um, what we're gonna do is we've got a lot of uh, rust in here, in these side pieces. So, um, well that's the, it looks worse from the outside than it is really. Um, I think it's had some dents or something at some point during its life. So um, it's been repaired, but as you can see there, there's quite a bit there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all these bits out I'm going to treat this along here because that's not actually gone rusty yet and down in there as well um, got some repairs to do around this window as well um, cut it all out and fill it and then we're going to paint it so uh, let's get on with it It's going in there. one done and we've gone to this one next piece we just cut that piece out um gonna grind all that back there get I've cut I've cut all the rotten stuff out I'm just gonna clean this up because that's the inner arch there that's, um, that's still pretty good, it's not rusty, so we're not rotten rotten, so we're going to clean that up. Same with this piece, I'm going to take that lip off there, so I can put a piece in there, and then um, I'm going to build it all back up again. Right, I've now cut the sheet to fit, um, I've bent it back a little bit as best I can, I think the rest of some of the rest of it might have to be done with filler. Um, because it, as you can see, it does have a little bit of a lip there. But um, we're going to have to see how we go with that. Uh, that's that piece. Just got to uh, trim it up and start tacking it in place now. There we go. Done. 
Um, just got to clean all this up now. Um, maybe do some extra welds just around there and there. Um, clean it out, grind it back, and then uh, treat it all. And then uh, put some rust treatment on it. Leave that overnight, and then uh, prime it up tomorrow. Well, it's all welded. As you can see, there's the patches there. That's the upper one there. And uh, that's the other one there. Um, going to panel seal it on the inside. Stop the water getting into the welds. And um, I've started filling already. Uh, I'm sorry I forgot to film it because I was in such a rush to get it done with the time that I've had to do it <laughs> but, um, I started filling already so let's show you what I've done so far <clears throat> there it is still got to fill the rest of this one and this one um, what I've done to get the profile is I've put the trim on and I've covered the trim in um, cling film and then uh, I'll fill to it and then uh, once the filler is dry then um, I can remove the trim and then, um, and then I can sand it back but, um, yes it's looking pretty good so far um, I've, uh, I've got oxide primed it all as well um, I've cleaned all the uh, the um, rubber gunk off of it from around the window, the, um, the gluey stuff that's on the um, between the metal the bond, the bonding agent. I've cleaned the bonding agent off the metal. Uh, I've cleaned all that back, taken that back to bare metal. Treated all the bare metal with um, rust inhibitor, and then um, I've painted it with uh, with this red oxide. So, get the filling done, rub it down, and then um, it's time to get some paint, which hasn't arrived yet. problem being is with the heat when I welded this piece it's distorted this little bit so there will be a bit of a bubble there there'll be a slight dent outwards but nothing I can do about that and hopefully we'll just blend it all in and then it will um, it look quite the same I've been quite busy have a look it's um it's pretty much there uh, I've got to rub all this down again and wet and dry all that. That's um, we, they forecast rain tonight, so um, I just wanted to get a primer on it just to protect the bare metal. But um, I need to create this seam here, which I'll do afterwards down through the middle because obviously that's been plated, so there's no seam there anymore because I've bridged that. <laughs>
as you can see this side is now fully primed um, it's all rubbed down and ready for top coat as well I'm using a two pack here um, this is the first time I've used it it's quite smooth a little bit of orange peel but not too bad um, there's the fake seam as well there ready for a top coat in it's finished I've just got to put the window back in but, um, got a couple of runs here I'll have to block block those back afterwards but I've um, made a fake made the fake seam as you can see and um, same as that one so uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with that Well, a well-deserved cup of tea. Damon's gone off to have some lunch. Um, as you can see, the window's in. Um, I think he still has a fair bit to do in here. <laughs> Before it's going to look like a camper again. Um, windows in and um, the sides done and uh, just waiting for that to cure off and, um, and then he can take her home so um, overall it's gone pretty well so I'm quite pleased with that considering what it was like um, it still needs a bit of polishing I think um, it's a little bit orange peely, which um, I'm not overly happy with. But um, fortunately, there's not a lot I could have done about that really, because um, we only had so much paint. I mean, I suppose we could have piled the paint on and just kept putting the paint on and then rubbing it all back. But um, the trouble was, the gun that I used was the nozzle was too big. Um, it recommended a 1.2 nozzle and um, the nozzle I was using on the gun that I had was 1.7 so it was quite big <laughs> so uh, technically it was putting through too much paint or it was atomizing larger you had larger um, paint molecules basically so um, it creates orange peel um, but under the circumstances I think it looks all right it looks better than it did so uh, you can see the repair in there as well you can 
see all this. Um, I don't know if I showed you this already, did I? Um, I may have done. But there's that repair. Um, there's that repair there. And um, there's uh, that repair in there as well. I don't know if you can see down through there. Um, that's all the rusty bits cut out. Uh, it was a bit rusty along there as well, so I've treated all that at the same time. So um, he shouldn't get any more trouble now. So yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you have a great rest of the day, and uh, make sure you follow Damon and see what he does with um, the rest of Nina. So, um, see you next week.